about it, so I'll just restart. So, hi YouTube, hi Twitch, hi everybody, hi Noobs Chat, hi Bullseye, or, well, Santa. Hi everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, this is a weekly thing I do where we get content creators and gamers together and we talk about different subjects. Um, I've done three of these so far. Um, they work out really well. I love I love doing them. They're great content for uh, for not only like educational purposes, but just in um, just in general, just to give a little broader spectrum of a conversation. Because um, uh, my my motto is with this whole thing is that a lot of the times we watch YouTube videos and stuff where like one person talks about a subject and gives their opinion, and um, a lot of the times it's very singular because it's that one person. So I like to open it up and have a big conversation with multiple people. So, um, this, like I said, is my, like my fourth one. So, but this one, uh, this week we're going to be doing multiplayer versus single player games and, uh, what they mean for like the industry, the, uh, the, maybe the later on in the future of what it, they are for the future of the gaming of that. <laughs> that was a dumb sentence. What they mean for the future of gaming. And, um, this along those kind of lines. Um, so, so for those of you that don't, understand which I, I hopefully you do if you're a gamer in some way but single player games being mostly um just games you play by yourself uh story based most of the time and multiplayer being like strictly multiplayer um things like call of duty things like uh like a, the halo series um which has both campaign and multiplayer but if we talk about multiplayer we're gonna talk about that specific kind of uh branch of just just a lot of different online multiplayer kind of Kind of experiences versus like single player games that are built from the ground up with no sort of um multiplayer interactions uh and co-ops a kind of different scenario but it's kind of similar i would i would count it as like a single player kind of experience based on certain things but um so that's kind of like single player multiplayer but um i want to start the conversation off with determining what the difference is um, as far as what we get exclusively when you play a single player game versus what you get exclusively when you play like a multiplayer game. So I want to go ahead and start, um, which with somebody I'm excited to have here, which is new because this man loves retro games and I think he's going to have a great insight for single player yeah, because. Well, oh, sorry, no, you're good. Good. You're fine. Uh, so I, I feel like we're missing one thing though. Cause okay. you, you talked about like multiplayer and you talked about, um, you talked about multiplayer and you also talk about uh single player, but there's also co-op where people play together on one mm -hmm. console, stuff like that, which is like, I, I feel like that's going away. I feel like multiplayer is more like, Hey, you have your own console. You have your own thing. It's not all about your buddy coming over and sitting on the couch next to you and playing with you anymore. And they have cooperative games, but it seems like they kind of push more of like, let's do multiplayer where everyone's either on a team or against each other kind of thing. Not so much more like a game where you do a, um, a whole game. You know what I mean? Like uh, a campaign version of a game. Yeah, yeah. I uh, In the beginning, I said it. Um, I, I kind of like count that as a single player experience, per se. Oh, okay. Uh, the only reason, I know it's not because you're, you know, single player would mean like by yourself. But right. in a lot of the times, like you can have those kind of story games where you're playing with another person. So like the single player experience is there. You're just doing it with another person. So that's like, that's where I kind of counted that. But, um, yeah. but yeah, no, I totally agree with that 100%. Because like... The whole like days of couch co-op when I was younger playing with my dad is like that those are gone and I think they're they're very very scarce like there's so little co-op games now and I I can't even like it takes me a long time to find a game that I can hook a controller up to the PC and play two player like it's really hard yeah see I, I like controllers more than I like keyboard and mouse so for me like I because I got a new PC and I've been playing on PC ever since but I still prefer. Like yeah, I would count that uh, news mom as a multiplayer. So yeah, like it's, a, for it's sure. a little bit more to adapt to. To sorry, I'm like doing two things at once. You're fine. <laughs> I mute and talk to chat, so I, I bounce. So sometimes you'll yeah. see my mouth moving, but nothing coming out. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I was doing. I was I actually I was actually texting my chat. <laughs> you're <laughs> kidding. My chat while I talk to you guys. So no, you're fine. Like, uh, doing it. Doing, doing two at once you can hotkey the uh the thing so like when other people are talking you can you can mute yourself and talk to chat that's what i do yeah i'm just on push to talk right now yeah that's an option yeah, too that's, 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 that's smart too yeah but um yeah it was just like um yeah it was like i think with and i like um it's weird though see i like 
single player games for a different reason than I like multiplayer games. Like I feel like single player games, it's like I'm there for I want this story, I want the adventure. And I'll go through and I'm like, okay, well, like I would like to play the game from start to finish. Like one game I'm actually trying to get back into because I started it a little bit, but I didn't finish it was uh The Wolf Among Us. Hmm. And I was like, it's got a good storyline, I think, and all those telltale games I like. So I play them for the story, but then I'll play multiplayers for like you know what I mean? Interacting with friends and doing like party games kind of stuff, or even if you just like Halo or something like that and you just get your own team together, you know? Yeah, I think uh, the single single player experiences are very linear to like, I think um, like where you gain like morals or you like learn something or you take away from the experience like something enjoyable um, in in the way, in the form of like something you'd experience by yourself to where like if you bring another person most of the time, it's not going to be a journey as same as like a single player game would be. And I think single player game also has a little bit more room for length. Uh, compared to like a multiplayer game as far as content's confirmed like concerned. I think a single player game can have a lot more content. Um and, and and but multiplayer has its place because there's you know, you have friends that you want to play with. Like we we wouldn't meet each other in real in, in this kind of like situation if we didn't have multiplayer games. Because we'd be sitting at home playing a you know single player game. But uh but I think that the overall experiences are are wildly different. But um but they have some similarities uh, as far as just being a video game uh, and things like along those lines. Um, but what do you think, Bullseye? What what what's uh what's a single player experience that you can or a single player type of uh you know something you can take away from a single player game that you can't from a multiplayer game, vice versa? Uh, well, kind of how you were saying earlier, how uh, single players are uh you know like the whole st- you got stories, so there's like the campaign to it. So it's like basically it's all focused on you. Uh, mainly or like whatever the storyline is whereas multiplayer I feel is more the Well, it depends on what multiplayer you're playing, but most of them are like shooters So it's mainly just you know collecting this doing that shooting bitches, you know <laughs> But uh, you know, it's 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 literally single player is more All about you whereas multiplayer is depending, you know team play and you know working with others kind of hmm. So yeah, wildly different, but uh, so both things do different things for sure. Um, but I want to go to the next question, which is mostly going to be for Noob, because I wrote this one down just for you, because I feel like we can get a good <laughs> we can get a good answer out of this for a, a, a good, maybe even an hour. Who knows? We'll see. Are All retro right. games single player king compared to nowadays single player? Oh, that's that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't think so. Actually, I, I don't think so. I think there's some really good ones that are coming out now. Like, I mean, I want to say like coming out now. I have not played The Last of Us Two, but I did play the first one. I loved it. And it was really good. And I see one of. And there's another game that's coming out that has a very similar feel to that. And I'm trying to remember what the name of it was. Somebody told me about it, and it was like a new game that hasn't came out yet. But I'm actually excited for it. And this is the first time I've been excited for a game in a hot minute. I think it just depends on who's working on it, you know? I think it depends on what, like, the hands are on it, like, in how much of their heart they're invested in it, because anything can be really good. Anything can be the next classic. Mm-hmm. It just takes people who believe in a project enough and want to, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, not, yeah, not, I worried, agree. not worried about, like, oh, hey, instead of worrying about, how, like, we gotta get this out by a certain day, it's not finished, fuck it, send it in there anyway. Well, we're, we're ready to go ahead and go live with it, but I know? think um, I think my opinion on the question as a whole uh, is back in the old days of those like consoles that you're really into, like Nintendo and a uh, GameCube and all the old games like that. We didn't um, we didn't have uh, I would say like obviously we didn't have like good graphics. We didn't have yeah. like that kind of yeah. so like I think at the end of the day that leaves a lot of room. Uh, for the passion to come out because nowadays I think a lot of time is spent on making everything look beautiful and I feel like back then they would be like all right this is literally the limits we have on the system so we can't do a whole lot graphically but we have an infinite platform of per se gameplay and and just overall content we can make so you end up taking you know like 50 percent of the time that it would take today to make graphics to put into gameplay and how the game plays and just the overall structure oh. of the story and absolutely they uh had that's how like like honestly 
GameCube is a perfect example of that because GameCube they were all about trying to make their games like a lot of more like they they actually didn't know what the capabilities I don't think were because they got the smaller discs so they were only capable for doing so much since they're smaller discs they have less that they can actually fit and they're like for example like the blocks and stuff were very small mm. but they still made really good games I mean Luigi's Mansion's a classic Super Smash Bros Melee is a classic I mean they got a couple of classics out of it and because they, they they made really good games and granted I guess Smash Bros is technically I guess it's also multiplayer too it's not just single player but I mean Luigi's Mansion's all single player too as well and it's you know what I mean so I, I think it's just um, yeah I I, 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 you, I think the limitations kind of help to bring out the uh, to bring out the um, how was that creativity but mm -hmm. I think that it, I don't think it's just like limited to that I think that people can still come up with something creative today now it's a lot harder to do too though with so many ideas already done I feel like, unfortunately, though, to in today's like era, like people will like put out a fancy trailer, and ninety percent of the time it doesn't show, like it doesn't necessarily show what the game does. It's just like, oh, it's pretty. Look how pretty this is. Like, it, and and it doesn't really do much for the game overall. But I, I think because nowadays you have to have, like, for a good majority of people, you have to have a pretty game before you have a good game. Um, which I, some people might be into more of a pretty game than a good game. I'm different. Um, and we, we have prime examples of that in like today's era where like Minecraft is a great game, but visually it's not good. Like if you if you think of it in that term, like it's not really like it, it's, it looks like a retro game, but the gameplay is so good that it doesn't matter. Yeah. What do you think, Bullseye? You haven't really talking a lot. Sorry, I've been really focused on this licorice stick this guy's got on his screen. What is that? <laughs> oh, this is a charging table. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen those. What is this shiny thing going across this? <laughs> yeah. I got a candy cane, man. Uh, Bullseye's yeah, like, pretty up. lights. <laughs> pretty lights. <laughs> like, what were you guys talking about? <laughs> uh, but no, um... If you were talking about like graphics and shit. I, I was talking about overall just retro gaming, um, which I'm surprised by Noob's answer, but just retro gaming being as a whole better in a single player experience than today's single player experience. Well, like if, you think, if you think of uh, a Doom back then, right? Yeah. It was a 3D world with 2D characters, right? So everything was flat surfaces. And yet that game was still, you know, pretty damn good. And then, like, you know, you got the, the Doom Now, which is, you know, it's all 3D. It looks fancy as shit. I mean, it's still just as good. But, like, uh, you know, you don't need much to make a good single-player experience. It's I think it's more about the, the story rather than uh, graphics and all that. I mean, the game's got to work still, but definitely it's all about the story. Because that's why people play single-player games main, mainly is for the, the story. Oh, definitely, definitely. I that's how I am. I love games for the story. I actually played a whole bunch of horror games before Halloween era started up, and there was like, and they were like, it's really weird because there was shot, shot like a sixteen bit or eight bit looking thing, and there was like, there was like Red Bow, and there was some, some other ones, the big the big sister or, or something like that, or little sister or something like that. I don't know what it's called. But there was like a whole bunch, and they're all made from the same one. It was like some some company in china or something but they they had english subtitles and everything else so it played like a uh it played almost like a game game boy kind of game or something you know but it had like it was like bits and stuff like that but i thought it was like the storylines for them was like really intriguing like i was really intrigued to get no like i wanted to find everything in the game because i was so like in immersed in it because it was like it had really good storytelling but i think with um some of the games they kind of lose that because they're like oh look at the graphics are beautiful and the story's just not there yeah i think graphics can help immersion but it's not like the main thing and i think that's no. also a big thing that multiplayer loses out on is just immersion in general because it's hard to press that when you're playing with a friend like i don't it's hard to yeah. but also is there really any good like horror multiplayer games i, I know D like dead by daylight would count but like is there any other good, like, horror-related multiplayer what are, games? What are we considering good? I mean, because there's, there's a few. I guess just harder, or not harder, just in general. Just, like, is there any horror games? Maybe not good, just, like, multiplayer horror? 
Well, is, would you consider like phasmophobia? And I've played this. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's where like bridges that line between like co-op and multiplayer. Would co-op be only like two yeah. people or like, I think co-op in well, my, I mean, in my idea would like be like something you play something like a, you play something through and through. Like I, I would consider phasmophobia co-op. I don't know if that's right. I don't. I, I, would, I would probably consider it just because there's no one against each, anybody where you're only going against the game. Mm. Or else I would think if it's like a story that you're trying to beat or trying to get to the end of the story and you're playing together. That, that okay. Would call, so call. we would call multiplayer where you're versing other physical people and like you're like maybe like 1v1 or just whatever it is. Like so DBD would definitely be multiplayer and like Fastball would be co op in this kind yeah. of idea. Okay. What do you think, Bullseye? You think that's about right or? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say I just googled uh, a co-op definition or whatever that helps uh, Do it. <laughs> yeah. well, I, 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 I like to I like to make sure I'm, I'm you know saying the right shit, but it's basically like a cooperative society business or enterprise. I mean You know, we may not be a society business or enterprise but a, 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 group, a, group, a group of people, you know working together To do something. I don't know. That sounds like a co-op to me Yeah, that's fair. Yeah sure. So Otherwise, why I don't put like stuff like DB, DBD in there, like Dead by Daylight, is just because you'd have one person that's actually against the other people. So, yeah, that would be multiplayer in my book for sure. Because yeah. like if you have somebody going against you, that's also another person that's not like an AI controlled like you know enemy. I think that's definitely multiplayer. But um, but as a whole, uh, I guess we can go to the next question. Uh, older multiplayer games, um, like retro style, uh, there's not too many of them, but are those better than today's multiplayer games? In your book, so I guess we can go back to like the older stuff, like uh, like Mario Kart or um, this older like Brawl, uh, Smash Brawl. That would be a multiplayer game. Um, all that kind of stuff. Like, would those be considered? Do you think those are better multiplayer games than today's multiplayer? I don't know if I'm old enough to answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I mean, played a whole uh, lot of old retro games like that, like no, multiplayer old, styles. Uh, yeah, retro not so much, but I've played older games, uh, like some of the earlier Halos uh, I've played, and uh, what else? Hold on, let me think. You guys talk. <laughs> so what, about, oh, yeah. what do you think, Noob? Is there, like, what would be, like, the earliest forms of, like, multiplayer? Earliest forms of multiplayer? Well... Well, I, I don't know if you consider it multiplayer or not, but Pong. I mean, technically. Yeah, you're one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would consider it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Pong, Pong's a real one. But the thing is, too, is like, I think that it's really weird because I have, I don't know if it's just nostalgia because I think a lot of it is nostalgia. But for some of those old games, I feel like they capture the perfect amount of like player versus player kind of stuff like the. the Thank you, FOK. I'm happy you're, like you you enjoy it, man. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is something I like doing for sure. In the day too, and I like, I'm happy I but, made it a um, weekly thing that happens all the time. Just so. like even, uh, what was it, like Super Smash Bros. Melee and Mario Kart. Those those are my favorites. I, anyway, I, I could play them like all day, no problem. But I don't know if I could do that with some of the games nowadays. So I don't know if it's a nostalgia thing or if it's more just like companies are just not trying as hard because they know, hey, I got this awesome idea millions of people bought the game so they're just gonna keep buying it yeah so I, I think i think it's a i think it's a little bit of both um i think i think it plays into both i think nostalgia obviously plays its part in a lot of things um but i i it's just like what i said with single player i think that the passion is not as um deep as it is as it used to be like as into where like when people were making games back then most of the time it was like not a lot of people like this thing, but this is a passion I'm putting into it. I'm going to do it. Nowadays, it's like a lot of people play and they just want to make the money portion. So it's not as passionate as it used to be. And so I think overall, um, you can get a lot of better qualities from old retro games. And I think that's why a lot of like channels like yours really thrive because a lot of people enjoy the nostalgia and the overall just passion that's put into older games that they can't really get today. I will say this, though. <laughs> I love one old game that the graphics suck in it. Just got off. I can't play it because they're so bad. <laughs> uh -oh. But I was able to find it on Steam. I got it and I put a mod pack on it that makes the graphics better. And I key mapped it to a controller. So now I can play it on the controller the way it was like I felt like it needs to be. And the graphics are way better. And I was like, hell yeah. 
And the worst, the worst part about it, okay, this is Star Wars Battlefront 2 I'm talking about. The re, the actual oh, remake uh, they did was oh. horrible. But doing this way where there's a mod pack is like, well, you mean to tell me all you needed to do is update the graphics. I would enjoy this a lot better than what you guys end up making. Makes me wonder why they didn't just do that. You know? Yeah, that makes sense for sure. Like, no one really liked the Star Wars Battlefront 2, like, the remake one. But if it was just the same thing with updated graphics, everyone would love it because the graphics were completely outdated. Hmm. That, uh, so. that kind of ties into the, the similar thing that I talked about last week because uh, last week we did remakes. I think it was remakes. Yeah. Remakes and, like, the history or the, the future of remakes. And that that's kind of, yeah. like, what played, what we ended up determining after all that is that, like, a lot of time it could be nostalgia, but overall, you know, some games are better in the past. Some really need it, and just it, it's overall remakes. You know, they make sense. But um, what do you think, Bullseye? Old multiplayer games? No, not really. Uh, Nothing. No, I mean, no. we're too young. <laughs> we're too young. Kind of. Um, I'm only like what three years younger than you, but I remember yeah, but... my father playing PC games that were multiplayer. I'd have to look up the name of the game. Uh, I want to say it was like some sort of like ghost recon or maybe like a really old like Tom Clancy for it was a first person game. I know that um, oh, oh, those old school ghost recons were fun. But that was when I was like, shit, uh, damn, I probably was like six, maybe seven, eight. Like I these were these are really old versions of multiplayer games. Like I'm talking about like FPS is like in like the earliest stages of FPS. But um, but I guess I don't know. I guess we're, we got to determine where you draw the line on like retro. Wait, is there is there a physical term I think, for I that? Think at, a, at a certain point of like graphically, from when it goes to uh, any bit to proper like three D and gotcha. You know. So like eight bit things like that. Yeah. Okay. Well like, then, like Doom, Doom's fucking retro. That's fucking two like, <laughs> D. You know. You, you'd probably consider some of the um. PlayStation stuff, uh, retro, right? Like stuff like um, Resident Evil or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, even like uh, the old uh, Tomb Raiders, you know, uh, Triangle Titty uh, Chick. Yeah. <laughs> you know that would still be retro. We talked about this last week too. I I, I uh, I'm gonna say it for new because he wasn't here and you weren't either. But uh, did you guys know that in Tomb Raider, back in those days, there was uh, I think it was like Tomb Raider two or three really old old uh playstation but they had a uh they had a thing where people kept putting it in because back back in the day they had the magazines that were like oh, the uh, yeah you get the fucking you get cheat codes and shit. yeah yeah yeah. and people kept putting in uh saying that like if they input this this exact thing they'll take her shirt off they were like oh yeah triangle yeah. boobies I was, and i was gonna think of that what we were gonna talk about because like i remember hearing that you're getting put and then the eventually, eventually, well, not only that, but eventually, <laughs> eventually, the um, the developers caught wind and they put into the game where if you put that exact cheat code that was going around, you'd blow up and just die. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, no, I, dude, I miss I miss cheat codes. I don't have them in uh, video games anymore. You know, you fucking input a code and some fucking shit would happen or whatnot. That was fun. <laughs> but See, yeah. They they didn't have. They had it for a minute in um, GTA Five. Technically, like you mod it and stuff like that, and you can do it to where you can do different things, kind of similar to cheat codes. But now they, you can't do them in there now. They won't let you play modded um, GTA. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> like it, it's really weird though, because it's like they're doing that now, like where they're trying to stop people from using cheat codes. I feel like if it was me and I created a game, people would love it and they would have more fun by using cheat codes, then why am I not implementing that in the, the game? Cause Man, I, 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 an opportunity to like sandbox to the game. You, know, you get to have more fun than just, I miss, I miss my, one of my closest memories as a child. And a lot of people, I think bullseye might be able to relate is where we had, we would come home from school with our buddy that had, you know, written down cheats from San Andreas, Friends? and we come yeah. sit down and be like, "All right, we got a tank tonight, boys." And we're putting oh, it in there. Yeah. I, had, I had like I had a big one for Vice City, and I would like I would just go through all the cheat codes. I'm like, "Oh, I'm using this one, infinite gun ammo, hell yeah!" <laughs> uh, and the only yeah, way you knew good. about the cheats is like you had some plug at school, some friend that was just like, "Yeah, yeah I got you, buddy. I write them down. Here's a note card." <laughs> you get those uh, monthly subscriptions where they come in, and or they that, yeah. 
oh, I don't remember man. how I ended up uh, uh, learning about it, but uh, there was something for like the the DS called like the Game Shark or something. And it had like just a, a list of cheat codes in it. So you'd plug in your uh, your DS game into the shark and then plug that into the DS and it would just you could just oh it was Bro, so you weird. just you just hit a memory in my brain that I never knew existed. Like yeah. I, I I know that name. I had no idea where it came from, but right when you said it, I was like, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think I still might have it somewhere, but <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I that shit all the time. Oh, I, have, man. Uh, this, uh, I have Chris in my chat saying, what about Star Wars Old Republic? That one's another one too, right? You consider? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. I love that game. I My favorite part of that game, though, is I like the uh, the uh, metal droid guy, the really tall, like the tall one that always call everyone Meatbag. I have him in my oh, party. Oh, HK-47. <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's great. <laughs> he was my favorite character in that one. I thought he was funny. But uh, some some good examples of like single player, um, and then like some good examples of multiplayer games in general. Um, before we go to the next question, that I have I have a list of them. Um, but some of the best ones I think of uh, when it comes to single player is uh, like you've already said before, like Last of Us, um, which I played the second one. Uh, I talked to Casper last week about this because he hasn't played it yet. Um, oh yeah. I don't know if you should. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it's yeah, not bad. I, it's just I've heard a lot about it, and I I kind of know a lot of the spoilers already. Yeah, so it'll hurt your feelings, I, man. Nothing can really be spoiled at this point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's it's I loved it. I mean, it's a great experience. Um, but I definitely will say that there was a lot of points in that game where they just wanted to be like they wanted to be edgy. They wanted to like do like that really sad or the really angry thing, and that's just what they did, and it didn't really make much, a lot of sense. They're just like, this is bad. Ellie's bad. This is bad. We all suck. Apocalypse. Like, that's literally... <laughs> like, which, you know, works in its own extent, but The Last of Us 1 was a masterpiece. Because, like, it had that... It had the good feeling and the bad feeling and just the overall grounding that, like, made you realize how, like, serious things like that are. It was the story, man. The story just made sense. And it, it, yeah. it like, it flowed. Whereas 2 is just... <laughs> yeah, two can get very like drudgy, where you're just like, all right, all right, next one. Smack, all you're right. smacking a rock every, uh, every you know, few feet. But it, for the most part, I think it's a, it's worth a play. And I'm I'm cra I'm like really distraught that it got game of the year because there was games that I think were better. Oh yeah, I saw, I saw that. There was a <laughs> lot of games I think are a lot better. I think Doom Eternal should be in that conversation. I think. Like I don't, I don't understand how at the end of the day, The Last of Us Two got it. I mean, it's a long game, and I guess graphically, and I, which kind of ties into the whole conversation we're having now. Like graphically, it, you know, I, I guess know. it's beautiful. I think Doom has better graphics, but that's just me. I think I think Doom Eternal or just Doom in general uh, is a lot better. Like we were talking about this last night, Bullseye, where they overall like the graphics are beautiful. The areas are oh, pretty yeah. big, at least in Doom Eternal, they they can get really big. How long, how long ago did Doom come out? Uh, like Eternal or are you talking about which one? Uh, the whichever of the first. Uh, 2016. 2016. Yeah, that was four years ago, and it still looks fucking amazing. Oh yeah, and then Doom Eternal even stepped it up higher. But the thing that I always notice about those games that are crazy is you can run those games at like 150 FPS, no problem, no matter what rig you're on, for the most part. Like it's so optimized, it's so nice. But uh, but yeah, I have I have Last of Us, I have Doom on that list, and I have uh, Resident Evil remakes for the most part. Um, good single player. Uh, the, the the old ones I don't have a whole lot of nostalgia with, um, but the newer ones I do, um, like remake wise, like RE2 remake, that's, RE3. That's a co-op right there. You would it would it be considered co-op? Like RE2 remake is not co-op at all. There's no multiplayer well, in that game no, at all. No, no, the ones there's the nothing ones that in that. Had ones where you could have multiple people playing. That would be a co-op. Yeah, like that'd be like RE5. RE5 yeah. and stuff, yeah. Four. Oh, no, 4 wasn't multi. It was 5, yeah. And then uh, for multiplayer, the thing that connects to most with me is uh, like Halo and older, older oh, Call yeah. of Duties. Um, I, I played the living shit out of Halo 3, which everybody knows in chat and part of my stream. They, they know that. I talk about Halo 3 too much. Did you ever get into, I think the first game that had Firefight, that was, was that Reach? Uh, no, they introduced Firefight, I'm pretty sure, with uh, Halo 3 ODST, I think. Oh, yeah. uh, what a terrible game. <laughs> the ODST was rough. Firefight. I like the Firefight, though. That was a lot of fun. They, the they go, 
They go, all right, fuck Spartans, you're going to be a little fucking bitch boy on the feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ODST was like, they took Halo and they were like, all right, let's make it depressing. <laughs> that was <laughs> ODST. <laughs> all the wrong things like that. Yeah, let's just like, let's just make everybody super sad by the time they're done playing it. <laughs> Depression right there. Which, you know, because it's a complete, like, switch to, like, how it was. Because, like, when Master Chief, you're, like, kicking everyone's ass. And at the end of the yeah, game, like, yeah. some things, you know, some things bad happen. Like, bad things happen. But at the end of the day, you're, like, you escape in the big, like, you know, crazy protagonist-style, like, explosions. And that's about it. For right. Halo. <laughs> but, no, ODST was just, like, depressing. But but I think it was think Firefight that was introduced in ODST. I might be wrong. Just hearing you say that, I was reminded of one scene in Halo. That's like one of my favorite ones, but it's in Halo 2 where he's like, he blow, he destroys a scarab and he's walking out with a shotgun. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like walking out of it while it's blown up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Apparently, like um, Chad is saying, which I can't say the last name of that game. Maybe you can help me, Bulls. I don't know if you're in stream. Um, uh, Ghost of Tsushima should have got game of the year. Oh, Ghost of uh, Tsushima, yeah. Tsushima, gotcha. Tsushima, yeah. But I, I haven't, I didn't play that game. I never played that game. I haven't played it either. No. Um, I, I heard a lot of people talking about a I lot mean, of different games. That the one that's that's supposed to be like Dark Souls, but like Asian Dark Souls. Is I thought I thought that was um, wait, no, you might be right. Yeah. Then you I might be right. Might be, I don't know, but that's that's what it's. I, I acquire that game's name as Shadows Die Twice because that's what it was revealed as. Uh, I chat talking about another game too, uh, like the Final Fantasies MMOs. Would you consider those? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, See, you're more I, of the I, retro I, gamer, I, so I think the question really goes to you. I don't really I mean, know. I would, I, would the, that uh, MMO, I would think it's more of like a. Um, co-op thing just because isn't the bad guys and those would it, would, can you have other people play with you in, on the Final Fantasy or is it just single player mm. I think it's single player at least the, the earlier ones were I didn't play a lot of them I played a few of them but I played Tactics Advance I never really cool. liked it because it was the like turn based kind of thing and yeah I've time, never been a big fan of turn based which I know why they did it back in the day because it was like limitations but turn based is a phone game and that's it yeah, I can't. I can't do turn base. Like every time, like a game's like, oh, here's this new game, but it's turn base. I'm like, uh. I like, I like retro games is because they only load in what they need to. So, for example, like if you were to play newer games now, if you were to walk like 50 feet, you could see way far away. But in the other games, it's like, oh, it's loading in as you go. So it's kind of like you'll see everything loaded in. Yeah. But it's not like it's not trying to load the entire map like other games will be doing now. Uh, so yes. it puts a lot more yeah like it, at the end of the day like like it like the way i would relative to like relative to that would be like doom eternal like i'm playing through it right now currently uh to get better with mouse and keyboard and there's a lot of the times like i, I think i've i've been playing it i've played like many many hours of it because i beat it before when it came out but there's so little amount of times where i'll stop and like look at the scenery like on the outside of the map the stuff that like my my GPU is rendering, but it really doesn't need to, because no one's really gonna ever stop and be like, "Wow, look at that yeah, mountain!" Yeah. Like eight hundred feet out there. Wow. <laughs> like, um, so same with that. So I don't know if you guys know, but uh, RuneScape, old school RuneScape was literally just it was a square, and that was it. That's all that loaded, and then everything beyond that was just black. It was just a yeah, black yeah. wall circling you. It, it, it just it just makes you line. you know focus on what's nece like necessity. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah, need to. The, the newer one, it, it loads as far as you can see, pretty much, or at least whatever's in that level kind of thing. But yeah, it was just like before. It was just this is all you need right here. This like however yeah. many squares right there. That's it. <laughs> but that that you know, it's a limitation, but it definitely gives like breed to like to passion and just overall like what they can add to that little square. They'll push it as far as they can. Oh yeah. And I think that's crazy. That's what I liked about that too, because then it's like, okay, we can just focus on this little section, at, you know, I mean, and make it the best, but they don't have to worry about it extending. Like, <clears throat> not everyone has like the latest model of everything, so mm -hmm. this way it also opens it to where a lot of people can play it. But if you have a game that's like the specs are ridiculously high, who's gonna play it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? So it's like I feel like old games were better about making it to where just anybody could play it, but now it's like newer games. It's like, oh, do you have the right specs? <laughs> you don't have the latest Windows. 
Well, I assume <laughs> I assume back in that day, the high specs even were needed for some of those games. I guess, I guess so. In, in, the, in that era, yeah, because like I, I watched a um a video about like old computers, and it was like, oh, you can get a nice game that can run like you know the latest computer game, and it was like. I don't even know how to explain it. It was like kind of like how you explained it, like the whole blocky, like very like structured to one little area. And it was like, this computer can run this game and it's only seven grand. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> and it's got a whopping two gigabyte storage. <laughs> it's crazy back then. Bullseye, are you there? Oh, you're there. Okay that much and then like come back today and like no i can't use it <laughs> oh i'd be pissed i'd be so pissed like right? it, now we're in an era where if you spend like two grand on a pc it's going to be good for a while a I good while grand. granted this is before covid though so oh i i did the same thing with mine mine was two grand though if i were to build this pc today it'd be like 15. Because of like the oh, overall no. price, yeah. Because I bought mine when uh, GPUs were being used for uh, for mining, like really heavily. So like this GPU, the 1080 that I have, was worth like two hundred dollars less than what they were selling it for. Because of all the mining that was happening, it was impossible to get a hold of good GPUs. Good. That's pretty good. <laughs> but uh, we'll go into the next question since we kind of just uh, we beat that one with a dead horse. But um, it looks serious right there. Yeah, he, he does. <laughs> Are you like in idle mode? What are you doing? Santa is now powering on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you are on the naughty list. <laughs> uh, but the next question would be, um, is, is the industry phasing out single player games in favor for multiplayer games in general? Like, are we seeing a trend with that? I don't think so. You don't think so? Uh, I don't think... As in, like, single-player games dying out, I don't think that'll happen. But if you look at, like, a lot of the Steam games out right now or whatever, a lot of them are more multiplayer. But I, I don't think single-player games will die out. Yeah. I think, um, which when we talked about with, like, remakes last week, uh, I think they're going to have their place. But I think as a whole, multiplayer is definitely going to grow. Um as time goes on, um, especially now with COVID and everything, I think everything kind of got switched into like trying to stay at home, playing with people like that. Um, but I think, I think overall, um, multiplayer games are becoming more to the forefront. Uh, but I think single players will all single player experiences will always have their branch and like they they'll always be a thing for sure. Yeah. I, I, I that's what I think. I, I think that there's, it's always, it's going to be mainly probably, uh, <laughs> multiplayer games for the most part but i think that they're not gonna get rid of multi or single player games because they're sometimes like if they're creating a game and they realize this ain't gonna work as a multiplayer game but it will work as a single player so i don't think they'll ever completely go away they just won't be as popular i don't think as or as mass produced as uh, multiplayer games will be yeah it just overall i think works out better in that way like, i think this uh, multiplayer is just an easier i guess structure because uh, single player games have to be really, really good nowadays um, to meet kind of like quotas of what also, people think. Uh, multiplayer, you're, the you know companies who make it are going to be getting a lot more money because you can do all this shit with you know loot boxes and all this and that. Whereas single player, it's, I mean DLC is about it that you could add really. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Which uh, I guess in like other experiences, like because there's there's other ways to do single player experiences, but. Yeah, as a whole, they're going to have their own little thing, I think, for sure. But uh, I think multiplayer games are going to take over a little bit. Uh, but the second part of that question would be single player dying. Uh, I think not. I think it never will. I think we'll always have something that will be a single player uh, I like game. that joke. That's a good one. <laughs> you, you keep freezing up randomly. It's really freaking me out. <laughs> you, <laughs> You'll be like talking and moving around and see the axe and everything moving. And all of a sudden you're just like... <laughs> Staring at the camera. It's weird. So, yeah, I, I I had an idea though too. I was thinking of so we're talking about like single player games and multiplayer, like being too different. What about games that I mean, there's games that have campaigns and stuff like that, but um, Assassin's Creed originally was just only single player, only, 
mm -hmm. and they made open up a a, a multiplayer tab. Yeah, too. and I played Brotherhood. Brotherhood started that, wasn't it, or was it one before? Like Brotherhood, I think, or something like that. Yeah, because I played Brotherhood, and I I liked the multiplayer because it was like you yeah. know you hunt down the people. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I definitely I feel it's more. Is the question more along the lines of should single player games stay that way and not try to branch into multiplayer or? I think it depends on the game, cause like yeah. Assassin's Creed did it did it justice. You know, you you know you're hunting down people. You know, you can still do the whole Assassin's Creed diving, climbing, all this stuff. But it, it yeah, it really depends on how you do it. Like you can't just take, uh, like Legend of Zelda. You can't just take that and just you know make it a multiplayer game, just throwing people in there, running around, doing crap. You know, it just wouldn't work. Like they'd have yeah. to make it somehow work. I um I guess I'm I'm on the opposite of that because I think the I think Assassin's Creed multiplayer was pretty poopy. I didn't like oh, it. Like I loved it I best, loved the single I, player. I, it was pretty fun. I think it might have just been because like my expectations like because for the single player I like loved it. It's like one of my most cherished games, and like Brotherhood uh, I think is when they introduced multiplayer. Is either Brotherhood or Revelations maybe. Yeah, one of those two. I but mean, Brotherhood. Brotherhood is like one of my favorite games like ever made, and uh, and if they introduce it in that, like I, I guess I just like the single player too much. So like I would come out of the single player and be like, "Damn, that was amazing!" And then I'm like playing multiplayer, and I'm like, "This doesn't just have the same feel to me." I don't know. But yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. I like I like the. It's almost like you know playing Among Us. You know, if you're a crewmate, you're out there. You know, hunt, you know, trying to figure out who the imposter is. But like. You know, uh, Assassin's Creed was like, you know, all right, I have my target. Let me hunt him down. And there's a bunch of other, you know, NPCs with the same skins. So you're like, all right, I got to figure out which one's the, the right guy. You know, I don't know. It's that, it's that right. like hunting kind of. I don't know. It was kind of fun to me. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I definitely see it as like as an experience that was worth playing. Like I played it. I just I don't know. I was huge into the single player. But, but uh, as a whole, yeah, I think um, I don't think they're gonna single player is gonna die out. But uh, uh, that whole question, like single player staying in single player realm instead of like adding multiplayer features, um, can I go. go for it. it can go. It can go different ways. Like you were saying, like uh, like if Halo stuck to just single player, we wouldn't have the multiplayer that like kind of like brandished in oh, like the whole multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. So like I guess it, it kind of goes both ways. But there is some games that I think just do single player too well. Too too many brands that just do single player too well that just really shouldn't try to touch on multiplayer. Like it's just not something they understand, you know. And then there's the opposite where multiplayer developers just know multiplayer too well. Like I think Call of Duty needs to stop making single player or, campaigns. Or there's a way uh, in the reverse <laughs> where like there's a multiplayer game that could branch off and maybe like let's say there's a a, a guy in the multiplayer game you could maybe branch off and turn it into a single player game and go on like a storyline or something you know that'd be interesting call yeah <laughs> yeah but you know yeah call of duty can't do it i think activision <laughs> right like, i think they make it okay because it looks pretty and like there's some cool stuff but they just they don't have the passion anymore for single player it's just it's just not there the money for you that. know was gta always gta was always single player wasn't it when it first started and now yeah i think gta 5 oh, yeah. was the first yeah, big was, multiplayer uh, GTA, for yeah well yeah gta 5 was but gta 4 was the first multiplayer um and i mean that was funny but it, it wasn't much other than just like a sandbox to run around and you know fuck shit up and, and like that's the thing about the gta 5 multiplayer is like they took the world they already built for the single player Mm -hmm. And then they were just like, uh, you know, name your character. And like in the beginning cutscene, it's just like, oh, you got to do these things. And then like you just go off and do your stuff. Yeah, like, do this, do that, and now do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, so like they took the single player aspect of the what we liked from single player in GTA Five, and like just like sprinkled it and just threw you into multiplayer, which I think is a good way to do that. Because at yeah, the end of the day, their, their story building, their world building is untouchable. And I think it's it's hard for them to integrate into fully multiplayer. Like if you took that team and was like, "Hey, we need you to make a you know completely multiplayer game," it wouldn't be as good as a single player game. Well, they they're, they're, they literally made another DLC that just came out like a week ago or so, um, and I've already seen some video on it. But I mean, it's it's not you know the biggest thing, but it, you know they're still adding more to it, and it's it's just insane. For sure. Um. So I am out of questions. Do you guys have anything you want to add to the conversation? Any questions at all from Noob or I got a question. <laughs> I've been a good little boy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was... my question. Good. 
Uh, Cat, now for you. Uh, what do you think you are on the list? Where do you think I am on the list? Oh, um, you're not me. I didn't even get the answer. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I I want to say I'm like third from give the me, bottom. Give me, give me a list of games and we'll do naughty and nice lists for them. <laughs> no, oh nice. God. Uh, Last of Us Two. Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but that wasn't done by Naughty Dog, was it? <laughs> Wait, uh, no, it wasn't. Naughty, was it? I don't know. I don't know I anymore. It, I don't know. Who even cares? <laughs> yeah, now it's gonna mess me up the whole day. I'm gonna be thinking about it, like who does Last of Us. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the same people that do um um fucking oh, Uncharted. Oh, no, so it's gotta be Naughty Dog. <laughs> gotta be Naughty Dog. Same ones it did. Uh, yeah, Uncharted. Uncharted, yeah. And then, like, yeah. Jack and Dexter. Yeah. yeah, it is Naughty Dog. Just looked it up. Okay. That's what I figured. Yeah. I remember yeah. that from the first one. I just didn't know if they made the second one. I Because a lot of, lot of times, like, they switch, uh, like, you know, people. Because they'll be like, I don't want to make it. I'll be like, oh, but we'll make it. And then they'll switch it over. <gasps> I just figured. So before we open it up to chat for uh, Noob's chat and my chat for questions in general, uh, you got anything you guys want to add? Because the last section, I like to open it up to... Because uh, we talked about the future, and that's kind of like where I like to end it off, is what we think is going to happen in the future for single-player multiplayer games. Doodle Bob. I have Doodle Bob right here. Do you want to be this one? The fancy one? Yeah, I wish I knew how to make a character on here. I'd create Doodle Bob. There's got to be a way to do it. We'll look into it. We can do it together. Yeah. There's got to be something. It might be on the workshop. I, just I don't know if Santa could be here next week. I, I mean, I guess it would be more appropriate, but... <laughs> uh, Santa's gotta get presents ready. Oh, he's gonna be gone. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My yeah. bad. My bad. Yeah, gotta get that axe in your head too. <laughs> what? What axe? <laughs> what axe? <laughs> it's part of your makeup. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> so, uh, any any questions, guys? No, we got nothing. Yeah, I got one. Anything you want to add? To the Shut up. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm already on the naughty list. It's fine. Give yeah, a shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, anybody in chat, news chat, my chat, any questions? Anything you want to yeah, add to the conversation? To, uh, cr uh, to compress that uh, coal to make some diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, man, you keep yeah, getting me coal. I'm fine with that. has been talking to themselves. They don't even care. <laughs> They're, They're like, look here. at this guy. Okay, That's cool. <laughs> So yeah, I, I try to leave it open for any questions. I think we're we're pretty. We ain't got nothing going on over here. What about you? No, no. Now nah, we're right chilling. Now. All right, everybody's sleeping. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> we put everybody to sleep, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, I appreciate you guys coming over and uh, doing this with me. I, I um, hopefully we can get you guys here for the next one. I want to make this a lot of people. Not too, too many people. I don't want like a hundred, but I can have like five, six, you know, ready. but, <laughs> but yeah, I, um, yeah, it, just like I said in the beginning, I like, I like doing these, uh, they're, they're a great way to give the, our, our communities a little bit of, uh, you know, something back educational, uh, conversations are good. And, um, I definitely want to do more of these and I'm going to keep doing them. So, so I guess, uh, next week I will, uh, send an invite for both of you guys. If you want to be part of it.